Hi guys, how is everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite YouTuber, Resh. Well, I'm not really sure if I am your favorite YouTuber, but I hope I will be. I just wanted to plant that in your mind before I start the video, actually. So um, if you're new to this channel, I want you to know that this channel is all about languages and all about fun. So most of the time I post videos about various languages such as German, English, Turkish, Spanish, or whatever comes to my mind. And today, apparently, we're going to be speaking about the Turkish language. As most of you already know, Turkish is my native language. I was born and raised in Germany, but both my parents are Turkish and I've been living in Istanbul for three years now, which is the largest city of Turkey. As a native speaker, I do realize that Turkish is a very hard language for foreigners to learn. So that's why I always think about making it as easy as possible to understand the Turkish logic and the grammar structure because I always have it in the back of my head. If you guys haven't watched watched my previous videos about the Turkish language, go ahead and watch the videos here because I'm not going to be repeating everything I said in those videos. So today, what I want to do today is actually something very beneficial. So it's the easiest way someone can express himself if he doesn't know any Turkish at all. So I did some research. I tried to find a way to do the best combinations possible and I found a very good strategy which I'm going to be presenting you guys in today's video. So by using this simple method that I'm gonna be showing you guys in just a minute you'll be able to use a variety of sentences more than a thousand different sentences in Turkish without really knowing too much about grammar I'm gonna be talking about the grammar of those structures in my upcoming videos but in today's video I don't want to talk about grammar too much just give you guys some simple sentence structures some simple ways to express yourself okay so why don't we start so first of all I want to repeat that Turkish is an agglutinate of language so don't get mixed up with the sentence structure because Turkish likes to add suffixes and prefixes to words rather than adding words to a sentence so that's why you might get confused from time to time but just keep that in the back of your head okay so first of all as you know Turkish verbs are being conjugated I want to show you some of the verbs that are very common in everyday Turkish conversation and see the conjugation of those verbs so that you see the pattern how verbs are being conjugated one of the most used used verbs in Turkish conversation is the verb gitmek which is to go in English. Gitmek, you conjugate the verb gitmek just like this. Ben gidiyorum, sen gidiyorsun, o gidiyor, biz gidiyoruz, siz gidiyorsunuz, onlar gidiyorlar. As I mentioned in my first Turkish video, we can omit the personal pronouns. I don't have to say ben gidiyorum. I can just say gidiyorum because by using that conjugated verb, the verb already gives me the information that it is me who is going, not someone else. So we can omit those. Some people might know this habit from Spanish because in Spanish is the same logic. So instead of yo voy, you could just say voy, right? If I want to say I'm going, I can say gidiyorum. Now, we know that this verb is being conjugated like that, but we want to make it a little bit more complex. And by complex, I mean, I just want to add some more details not really complex though so let's say I, I want to say I'm going home how am I gonna say that in Turkish the word house is if and if you want to say to the house or home like to home we don't say to home in English but you know what I'm trying to say so you got to say eve so you add the letter e to the word ev and it becomes eve so if you say eve gidiyorum you say I'm going home if you say eve gidiyorsun you say you're going home if you say eve gidiyoruz you say we are going home in English this would be we are going home four words in Turkish this would be eve gidiyorum just two words right I could have said ben eve gidiyorum but you know we generally don't do that so I mean you can but we mostly omit the personal pronoun unless we want to put emphasis on so what if if I wanted to say I'm going to the car, then I'd say araba, which is car, arabaya. So instead of adding the letter E, I'm adding the letter, I'm adding the letters YA, so it becomes Arabaya. Why is it different this time, even though I'm using the same word, right? I'm trying to say to somewhere. Well, in Turkish, it depends on the vowels in that word. I don't want to explain it in this video. I'm going to explain it in another video, okay? So just keep in mind that it's, if you want to say to a house, you say eve or to home. And if you want to say to the car, you say Arabaya, okay? So Arabaya gidiyorum would be I'm going to the car. If you say arabaya gidiyorsun then that will be you're going to the car okay let's give two more examples let's say otobüs which is bus otobüs if you want to say i'm going to the bus then you got to say otobüse 
gidiyorum. So again you add the letter E. Alright? So it will be otobüse gidiyorum, otobüse gidiyorsun, otobüse gidiyor. Just like that. So by doing that you can already build a lot of sentences. Let's give one more word. Let's say okul, which is school in Turkish. If you want to say I'm going to school, you gotta say okula gidiyorum. So this time instead of the letter E, I'm adding the letter a. Don't worry guys, it's not as complicated as it might sound to you right now. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on grammar in this video. I'm going to explain it in another video. Just wait for it. So, okula gidiyorum, I'm going to school. Okula gidiyor, he or she is going to school. Easy as that, right? Now I want to give you another verb so that we have some more verbs, all right? So let's say the verb walk in Turkish is yürümek. How do I conjugate that? Yürüyorum, yürüyorsun, yürüyor, yürüyoruz, yürüyorsunuz, yürüyorlar. That would be I'm walking you're walking he's walking and so on all right so I can use all those words that I just used like okula eve arabaya otobüse all the words with these conjugations okay so okula yürüyorum I'm walking to school eve yürüyorum I'm walking home otobüse yürüyorsun you're walking to the bus so then you see we have a lot more combinations now we can say a lot more things by just knowing a few words that's it we just need to know how to conjugate them and we just need to know how to use the word to in that specific context. Same with the word koşmak, which is to run. Let's conjugate it real quick. Koşuyorum, koşuyorsun, koşuyor, koşuyoruz, koşuyorsunuz, koşuyorlar. Okay, so if you want to say I'm running to school, okula koşuyorum, eve koşuyorum, I'm running home. Arabaya koşuyorlar, they're running to the car. All right, so that easy, guys. Don't worry, I'm going to be putting all the verbs with their conjugations that I'm mentioning in this video in the description box below so that you guys can check it out and so that you can improve your Turkish by repeating those and believe me it's not that hard especially this video is gonna be super useful for you okay so let's try to say something different for instance you don't want to say I'm going to somewhere you want to say I'm sitting at somewhere okay I'm sitting in or I'm sitting at or I'm sitting on how am I gonna say that all right let's give an example let's say I want to say I'm sitting in the car how am I gonna say that in Turkish well therefore I will need the word sit which is oturmak in Turkish and I'm gonna conjugate it real quick for you guys oturuyorum oturuyorsun oturuyor oturuyoruz oturuyorsunuz oturuyorlar okay as you can see there's always a pattern you see like slight differences because of the vowel ending of the words but generally the pattern is always the same when it comes to Turkish conjugation so you don't really have to fear it I mean it's actually pretty easy as I said I'm gonna be explaining that in another video too for now we just got to know the conjugations are like that okay now I know how I can say I'm sitting which is oturuyorum how am I gonna say I'm sitting in the car as you remember car was araba and when I said to the car I said arabaya right uh, this is not how I can use it in this context because I don't want to say to the car I want to say in the car okay so I say arabada araba da oturuyorum I'm sitting in the car that's literally how we say it in Turkish so instead of adding the letters ya I'm adding the letters da and it becomes in the car so as you see again we feel we see that Turkish is agglutinative because we don't add a word, add a suffix. So it becomes, has another meaning. So arabada oturuyorum would be I'm sitting in the car. Well, how am I going to say you are sitting in school right now or at school? How am I going to say that? In Turkish, we just said school is okul. To school was okula. You remember? Now, if I want to say I'm sitting in or at school, I have to say okulda oturuyorum. Again, the D-A ending. Okulda oturuyorum. I'm sitting in school. Okulda oturuyorsun you're sitting in school we are sitting in school would be okulda oturuyoruz don't forget that guys some people tend to forget those endings and just say okul oturuyorum which would just be I'm sitting school which also sounds wrong in English so not only in Turkish so don't forget those endings and don't mix them up because it immediately will sound very wrong to Turkish ears what else did we have we had otobüs and ev right so bus and house or home if you want to say I'm sitting on the bus it would be otobüste oturuyorum Otobüs te oturuyorum. So it will be te ending. Otobüs te. All right. So this time I don't say otobüse because that would be to the bus. But I want to say on the bus. Well, in Turkish we say in the bus. So it will be otobüs te. Again, the explanation for that will be coming in another video. If you want to say I'm sitting at home or in the house, then you have to say evde oturuyorum. Evde. So the ending would be de this time, not te. I know it might sound complicated. Why does it always change with the te and de? It's actually very simple. Just not in this video. All right. So. Because 
because this is not going to be about grin. So now you know a lot more things. You can say, I'm sitting at home, I'm sitting in school, I'm sitting on the bus, I'm sitting, I don't know, uh, in the car. That is all possible with those verbs that we know now. I want to give you some more verbs so that you can say a lot more things, okay? So we have, let's say, uyumak and okumak, which are sleep and read. So if I want to conjugate the verb uyumak, it would be uyurum, uyusun, uyo, uyurus, uyusunus, uyolar. Easy as that. You can use this verb by saying, I'm sleeping at home, I'm sleeping in school, he's sleeping in the car, which would be arabada, uyo. And again, I'm using the same ending because I'm saying in the car again, arabada. So araba, as you can remember, was car and arabada is in the car, okay? Arabada uyurum. So if you know those endings and the words themselves and how to conjugate the verbs, you have so many different possibilities to say things in Turkish. And it's actually a lot of fun because it really is different to European languages. I mean, you see how we distinguish certain things in Turkish, but in other languages, you just don't, all right? How do I say read? I say okumak, right? Is read. It's actually the infinitive of read in Turkish. So I'd say okuyorum, okuyosun, okuyo, okuyoruz, okuyosunuz, okuyolar. So if I wanted to say I'm reading at home, I could say evde okuyorum, evde okuyorum, evde okuyosun, evde okuyoruz, evde okuyolar. This is all possible with all the things that we just learned in this video, guys. You can say so many things. Okay, I want to give you three more verbs and then I want to give you some words that will add the timing or the time uh, in your sentence so that you have even more ways of expressing yourself, okay? So the last three verbs that I want to give you in this video are gelmek, dönmek, and çıkmak. Gelmek would be to come and the way I conjugate it is geliyorum, geliyorsun, geliyor, geliyoruz, geliyorsunuz, geliyorlar. For instance, if I wanted to say I'm coming from school, this would be okuldan geliyorum. Because this time I'm not saying to school, but I'm not saying in school either. I'm saying from school, right? I'm coming out of somewhere and coming from there. So in Turkish, this would be okuldan. So as you see, there's a different ending now. I say done, all right? Okuldan geliyorum. I'm coming from school. Let's give another example with, with the words car, home, and bus. So if I wanted to say he is coming out of the car in the meaning of from the car, but we wouldn't say from the car in English, but in Turkish, it would be something like that. So I'd say arabadan geliyor. He is coming out of the car in the meaning of from the car, all right? So arabadan geliyorum. Otobüsten geliyorsun. You're coming out of the bus in the meaning of from the bus, all right? That's how we say it in Turkish. Well, where are they coming from? They're coming from their home. That would be evden geliyorlar. Evden geliyorlar. Evden, all right? You see, we have den, dan, ten, tan. In this specific context, because we try to say from. So we got to distinguish between in, to, and from when we have to add a suffix to a noun, all right? I'm going to be talking about those suffix endings in another video, promise you guys. But now I want to give you the last two verbs for today's video, which are dönmek and çıkmak. Dönmek basically means to turn or to come back. Depends on the situation. And çıkmak means leave, all right? So how do I conjugate dönmek? Dönüyorum, dönüyorsun, dönüyor, dönüyoruz, dönüyorsunuz, dönüyorlar. I'm coming back, dönüyorum. Let's say I'm coming back home, eve dönüyorum, okay? Well, because I'm saying I'm coming back to home, actually, in Turkish and English, we wouldn't use the word to here because it's home, but that doesn't work. You're coming back to the car would be arabaya dönüyorsun, okay? I just hope you guys don't mix this up. And çıkmak would be leave. In Turkish, you always say leave from. So in English, we wouldn't say I'm leaving from the car. You would just say I'm leaving the car right? In Turkish, you, you would use an additional suffix that would be from, and I just explain it to you guys. From the school, for instance, would be okuldan. So how do I conjugate verb çıkmak? It would be çıkıyorum, çıkıyorsun, çıkıyor, çıkıyoruz, çıkıyorsunuz, çıkıyorlar. So let's say if I wanted to say I'm leaving school, it would be okuldan çıkıyorum. Again, mentioning that dan means from in Turkish. So I'm basically saying I'm leaving from school. But we don't say that in English because from is already included in the verb leave. So it becomes redundant. So yeah, now I want to give you four timing words, time connectors, which are şimdi, az sonra, bugün ve yarın. Şimdi means now, az sonra means in a moment or soon or in just a bit. Bugün means today and yarın means tomorrow. Be careful, a lot of Turkish people mispronounce the word tomorrow in Turkish. You will hear a lot of people say yarın, you know, they will uh, use a long a there, yarın, which is wrong. You got to say yarın. 
open so it's short all right now we can use these words to make our sentences even longer and we can combine those words with the sentences that we want to use let's say if you want to say i'm coming back home tomorrow then you'd say yerin eve dönüyorum let's give another example if you wanted to say you're going to school now this would be şimdi okula gidiyorsun so as you can see we're using those time words in the beginning of the sentence so i'm saying şimdi okula gidiyorum yerin eve dönüyorum yeah guys so i'm feeling like if you know how to use those and if you know how to combine those then you already did a great job and you already took a big step towards the turkish language and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up because i'm going to be posting a lot more if i see that you guys like those videos stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more turkish videos then just make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can receive the notifications whenever i post a new video but till then guys take care